Today, we're going to talk about the best relationship ever, even when there's blood and guts on the keyboard. <laughs> Welcome, Deborah. Hi, how are you? Great. Good to be here. We are doing a quick little podcast recap because Life and Love Lessons, yay, Deborah has her copy too, is releasing on Wednesday, July 28th. So this coming Wednesday, and this is my author copy and Deborah just got her copy and she endorsed my book and we just finished recording a podcast for the Good Karma Success Coach podcast. So welcome Deborah to the little video follow-up. Hey, thanks for bringing me on. So let's talk about these blood and guts. <laughs> what that's about. Yeah. So Deborah asked me about um, relationships and communication, which is something I coach and speak on regularly. If you follow me, you know, that's a huge piece of information that I share. And I, when we started our call, I was cleaning my husband's keyboard because I used his computer to record our podcast and it was a little gross. So if you know me and you know, my husband, you know, he's a charter boat captain here in the keys, good karma sport fishing. And he comes home after a day and he is disgusting looking. Oh my God. He's loaded with fish blood and guts. So gross and smelly. And so it was a gross keyboard that I had to clean and Deborah made note of the fact that I was doing it calmly. And here's my little bag of wipes, calmly and patiently. And most people would probably get a little perturbed, would you say? Well, that create a little blood and guts themselves, right? <laughs> <laughs> You're so right. Get a little angry. A little uh, temper could flare up easily. And, you know, that's just a huge, huge part of the book and the stories I share is all the work, the tools, the tips, different teachers, such as Deborah, that when you take, you know, all of these um, very fabulous methodologies and mindset shifts and you put them in a blender, which is one of the chapters, you can really transform your life and you can work on, you know, just being the best version of yourself. And some of that is just working towards better communication <laughs> and, you know, being more relaxed and chill and letting shit go and letting guts on the keyboard is one of those things. So, yeah, so it was great that you interviewed me. Thank you. Anything else that you thought was uh, an interesting conversation that you want to share? Yeah, there's so many great stories in the book that you weave in to the lessons, which is, I guess, why you called it Life and Love Lessons, right? Yes. And what I, I really love about it, it's so important because you are modeling and you have figured out how not to sweat the small stuff, to let it go, to not to write stories about what you think the other person is doing. Don't put ideas in their heads to let's get to the concrete, what's really going on, deal with it in a very calm, matter of fact way. And most of the time, it's not even consequential. It's the story that we wrote for ourselves that caused it to blow up and maybe blow up a relationship. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And when you have like constant triggers and mind loops, it just really, really can mess with your energy. And sometimes people don't realize why something isn't happening the way that they're hoping it would happen. But if they have all these other things that are triggering them throughout the day, it just kind of can compound. So, you know, I'm not going to lie. It took work and it still is work. So some days are better than others, but I would say, you know, coming home and seeing the the dog food cup on the counter, which is something I share in the podcast, you know, doesn't bother me anymore. Whereas years ago it did, you know? So I really am very blessed that, for example, Ryan and I have done the work in, you know, communicating and listening and taking some time to really understand each other because at the end of the day, we're all different right? We all have different skills. We all have different wirings from the universe and just really understanding that, um, you know, I, I can't change him. He can't change me. We can just do the best that we can to communicate and understand each other, see ourselves as others is a, one of my favorite sayings and really come from a place of compassion and letting a lot of stuff go. 
So, um, yeah, so it, it has, it's been a journey, which is why I love sharing that in life and love lessons. And even in confidence mastery for couples, I share a lot of those stories as well. Yeah. I think one of the big lessons that you teach in role model so well is not to take it personally because he's not putting that cup on the counter to piss you off. He's <laughs> just focused on a lot of other things and it's being absent minded. So when you can give that other person that space, pull back and not take things so personally, yeah. it's, it's formative. Yeah. And what's funny that you said this, and it's probably going to kill me for saying this in the video, but it actually came up in his human design chart that he has um, a, a gate and channel, a combo that leads to the fact that he's very spacey. <laughs> so one of the things I talk about in the book is human design. And when you pull your chart and pull your, your spouse or partner's chart or even a family member and you start to dig in, you'll see some of these little nuances that maybe are things that could have annoyed you, right, in the past. They're just part of that other person's makeup or part of your own makeup. You're able to like let things go so much easier. And it is, it's just taking all those little bits and pieces of information and mixing them up and actually taking action on them and doing the mental work so you can move forward. Yeah. You know, what is so great about this book, Life and Love Lessons, is that there's so many stories in here that surely people are going to find themselves in at least one, if not more. So if they're struggling with relationships, they need this book. You've simplified it, you've quantified it, and then you're available to help them if they want to take it a step further. So yeah, because this was so needed. Oh, thank you so much. And I really do hope that the people that read it do get at least one aha moment. Um, I have some beta readers and it's been amazing just to even, even hear initial reaction. You know, a, a friend of mine, she read the book and she really related to the fact that when this book came out, Confidence Mastery for Couples, I knew that I should be doing the work and promoting it, but my heart went right away to starting to write this, which is something I write about in the book. And she was like, oh, I understand. I feel that. Like, I know I have something inside me that I've been wanting to get out. And you just helped me move the needle forward on that, you know, that I'm not crazy having those thoughts that there's something inside of me bursting to get out that I, I need to do it and need to take the action. So I feel that if people relate to the book and they find one to three things and that really helps them move the needle forward in their life, in their love life, in their business and career. And there's a ton of business stories in the book because my background is primarily all, all business and work. I'm a, a worker. <laughs> then I, you know, then that's why I wrote it. I wanted people to be able to feel inspired and, and take the, take the action. But you know, one other thing I just thought of, uh -huh. guys, this is a law of attraction manual. It is filled with all the information about how to really make law of attraction work for you because Melinda has figured out the secret. She's put the steps down for you in these stories so that you can replicate her results and they're phenomenal. Oh yeah. Thank you. And that's actually, uh, we forgot to mention that in the podcast, but it's, it's all, it's all good. Maybe it can be a follow up. The book is the essence of embodying law of attraction and manifestation and energy. So all to what you just said, Deborah, and to everyone out there, that's exactly what this book is without going into all the things that you can read in anyone else's book. Right. So because there's so many books out there, courses, uh, YouTube videos <laughs> where people are, you know, telling you about limiting beliefs and this and that. And it's all the stuff that most people have heard. So I wanted the stories to actually like show you that if you do this work and that this was what will happen, which is then obviously the law of attraction and manifesting. So coming to life in, in a real life story and we all can do it. We all have the power within us to, to um, attract into our life what we desire. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, well, thank you. It was super fun chatting with you as always. I really appreciate it. 
And anyone out there, I'll put all the information in the notes. And I appreciate it if you share the video and check out the book. And if you wish to work with me further, if you are ready to take action after listening to the podcast, after reading the book, after watching this video, I would love to work with you. Please contact me. Thanks. Wonderful. Thanks, Melinda. Thanks for helping me out. I appreciate it. Thank you.